Greetings everybody. Okay, I'm making a short video as a uh, part two of the uh, chia, growing chia is easy video. Although this part is a little bit less uh, easy. <laughs> so I um, harvested the chia and this is what I got. What I did is I just uh, I just cut I cut the uh, the plants and tied them into small bundles so um, I could move them around easier and also do the try to process the seeds. Now you, this is the first time I do this, so I'm not too sure what I'm doing here, but I I looked up. Uh, in some books, I read some books, I looked up on the internet. They say you could just, like when it's ready, put a, uh, a bowl underneath and just shake it and they all fall. Well, I don't know if there's different like varieties of chia and that, but these ones weren't falling like that. And, and I left them there till they were like, um, ripe you know like it's not like some are a little bit greener but if you can see here you know they're pretty brown I mean and they're dried I let them dry so I bundled them up and I put them in a room and I let them dry for a week then they still didn't fall off just just naturally so here's what I'm doing now um, yeah I could have cut every flower on the spot and you know but it would have taken forever <laughs> so this went pretty fast just chopping it down and bundling up now here's my setup okay now I got this basically the chair is there so I could whack these uh, I think they call it threshing um, this these flowers heads and see if the seeds are going to fall off now I've been testing this out and they are now you see there's two tarps here I mean that's just because this the small tarp in the middle is like I cleaned it so it's it's nice and clean the bigger one was just so huge and it was this old dirty tarp and so this is what I'm thinking whatever falls outside of the small tarp will go for planting next year and whatever falls inside will be for eating so there you go um, now here's what I'm doing basically I'm just okay now I'm I apologize this video is probably going to be uh, not very stable it's going to be moving a lot but here goes okay I don't have a stand for this uh, this uh, player so okay it goes I go like this basically I just basically whack me here Okay, now I don't need to do like to do it to perfection here. I think like you understand the idea. Then I've uh, been experimenting with a few things. See the seeds. Then you, what you have is a mixture of the flowers, the dried flowers and the seeds. So see if I move this around, see the seeds here. Let me let me try not to move too much. Uh, I don't know if you could see it, the chia seeds here. But anyway, I'm I'm putting this in here. Now I've got two screens. This one's just a regular house screen, and this one's like <clears throat> what I suspect like a fire, like something you put in front of the fireplace. But uh, it's got like a wider like mesh. So what I've been trying to do, and it's actually not so bad, is uh, I start off with this here, and then I get like the bulk of it out, you know? And again, I'm not going to do it like just to perfection here because I'm basically just uh, showing you guys, okay? And then I go to the smaller, finer one. I could probably start off with the finer one, but this here, okay, the seeds are like 
barely passing through so I don't want to have too much stuff in here and I'm not pushing too hard here I'm just like uh, okay now and then okay what I got here I still have some a little bit of fine uh, flower heads in here now it's uh, not very windy today but technically I mean this is what they do that's what I've seen people do is like you toss it up oh and you can't I don't know if you could see this the um, the small little uh, f dried flower uh, bits are kind of like blowing off let me see if we could catch that I'm not Anyways, like I only have one hand and this is not like, but uh, and if it's windy enough, <laughs> I know you can't see very much what's going on. I know, I apologize for that, but uh, I mean, this is, I'm just trying to document here with something, you know, and if I find a better th solution, like I'll, uh, Okay, now, here you go. Let's see, can we see here? Uh, chia seeds. It's actually looking pretty good. Uh, you know? I might actually pass it in the screen, like, one more time. And then do this one more time. I might also try putting all this on a uh, a clean tarp and then putting a ventilator you know letting a ventilator blow and um, I'm just gonna experiment but this is pretty pretty clean it's not so bad and it's not like it's not very windy right now so the I could imagine doing this like putting a ventilator and then doing this in any case uh, yeah I think I'm going to get a lot of seeds. I mean, this is exciting because, like, uh, it's kind of, like I tried this year to grow some wheat, this very old uh, heirloom type of wheat, and uh, it didn't work out so well. And uh, processing all that, I was like, kind of like, hmm. Plus, you know, the glute, the gluten, and all that. I was like. Is that what I want to be doing? Then I tried quinoa, and uh, that didn't work out so well. It's very hot where I live. And then I tried this one, and this is it because, see, the quinoa, what I didn't know and I learned only after I had like planted some, is when you uh, harvest the quinoa and you finally get all the seeds you know you processed everything and the seeds are all are all like separated you then have to soak okay the seeds and you have to like really like uh, be active you have to like soak it and you have to like make sure all the um, there's a, a chemical that coats the seed and I um, let me see I think they're called saponins S A P O N I N E saponin something like that and that that's not so easy to digest and it's got some problems around that so you have to soak the quinoa seed and then dry it and I think you have to actually soak it twice and you have to actually agitate the water while you're soaking and I mean it's not that I don't want to do that, but I'm always trying to find the easiest thing to grow that gets me to what where I'm going, where I want to go, which is actually for this is is basically protein uh, and uh, quinoa also. I mean, uh, chia also has omega, which is like this beautiful added bonus, and to some minerals, you know, some vitamins. But it's the protein that's really like. This is a seed, right? Not a, not a grain. And so, this here, I don't need to do anything now. I don't need to soak this. There's no saponin on it. There's like, it's ready to go. Huh, isn't that amazing? So yeah, I think I'm gonna get quite a lot of protein here. And uh, that's like, I mean, I'm, uh, 
I'm now a vegetarian. So, and I'm not like, I don't, I'm not like uh, paranoid necessarily about the fact that I don't eat meat and I might lack protein. But I do, I am aware that, you know, I do want to have some protein in my uh, diet. So this is good. This is like, this is good <laughs> and very easy to grow. Uh, basically, um, it's drought tolerant. Okay. And that's a big bonus. And, um, especially like, uh, if you're like living in a place like where I am, where it doesn't rain that much in the summer and where uh, they charge you, uh, for your water usage unless you have a well which uh, I don't right now and I sometimes take water uh, from the pond if I can but then you know that's a lot of work to water your crop so I tend to not want to water and this is it this is great for that okay folks you don't need to fertilize this you don't barely need to water this and you uh, don't need uh, pesticides, you don't need um, herbicides, you don't need fungicides, you don't need anything, you don't need cow manure, chicken manure, you don't need, <laughs> all you need to do is put the seed there just before it rains, like if you know it's going to rain for a few days, there you go, put your seeds. And it, uh, it takes a while to grow, so put them early and then just plant them really dense this is what I have what I did so there was that's all I had and uh, and uh, the quinoa and the um, I put some armorant seeds boy the uh, beetles loved the armorant they ate pretty much all the leaves and uh, and the quinoa didn't do so well but this here N nothing ate it. I mean, all the leaves were intact, not even a hole of one insect bite, you know? <laughs> so, this is it, folks. Try it. It's really easy. Just get a bag from the store. Put it out there. Okay? Bye-bye.